Hello and welcome back to Top Builds, where we review and analyze the various creations on the Woodycraft server created by Woody's Gamertag. In this episode, I will focus on a build that I happened to stumble upon by accident. I was actually looking at someone else's, and this was in the general vicinity. Uh, this is created by Weird Fish Zero, uh, no spaces, and it's at negative 30, comma 21 for its plot numbers. And here it is. I just stumbled upon it. It has one of the best interiors I have seen thus far. But before we get to the interior, I'm going to pan around the exterior just to show its magnificence. It's a very well done exterior as well. Notice that W there. Probably one of the best looking ones I've seen aesthetically so far. So as we get back down to the front, as we walk in we notice a nice koi pond with a what appears to be a some type of seating like a couch, a bamboo garden and various flowers and fruits such as watermelon and tree stumps with leaves surrounding the area. I like the lighting fixture here that he has with the light underneath the leaves that makes it seem much more organic and verdant. And as we enter, the first thing we notice right off the bat is the waterfall indoors. Just marvelous and I like the lily pads. They just complement the water nicely. And of course the bamboo steps. If you forget those. Just absolutely gorgeous. Even these stone slabs on top wonderful touch it just adds the whole uh, there's a lot of gray in here but it, 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 the gray just makes all the nature elements pop nicely once again with the light fixture with the leaves on top of it very well done and as we notice the cacti in the rear I, I also like to the way he uh, utilized the full glass windows that makes the area seem much more open even though this is a very small uh, relatively small area the glass just makes it seem uh, open and big as we move to the left, through the door, we'll notice the couches, the seating area, just in general, and some bamboo with some steps. It appears to be some sort of stage. Uh, that water, again with the um, light underneath the nature element, uh, when it's dark in the room, uh, every, it'll glow nicely, and this will be a very serene area. Notice the blue on white for the couch, uh, reflecting that nature theme of the water. I like the trap doors that he has around the glowstone. It's a very common theme in a lot of areas. And this is a place to write some feedback so he can improve on it and build another uh, build. Here he has a little bar kitchen area with various seating around that center island. And here it is from inside there. And we have a little trap door to get to some more areas. And it appears to be just to get to that feedback area. As we just look around, once again, very nice big windows. Here's the back door. So this is his modern home based off of, based off of Ethos style, built by Weird Fish. Oh, 90. Okay. And then here's some feedback that he had there. As we move on upstairs, we'll notice, once again, that whole uh, blending in the light with the nature elements. The blue. Uh, on the back of the plain colors that he has there. A lot of gray and white, but with blue and red that con and yellow that contrast it very nicely. Uh, what appears to be a table and some seating, perhaps another stage area or just a lifted up seating area as you overlook the window into the other plots. Again with the cacti in the window. Very nice touch. I like how he made it pop out. Very three-dimensional pattern. Uh, just makes the room seem bigger and more ornate. I'm not entirely sure what uh, his purpose of causing the glass to go on the inside here, uh, but re regardless, very well done. We go on up. This is a bed area, a sleeping quarters, the nightstand with the flower, marvelous, uh, simple, but that's not the reason for the house. And of course, who could forget the focal point of the entire uh, arena or house, rather the big chandelier. Very high. I like the glass bisecting the glowstone. It makes it appear as though it's cut through and it makes it seem like a chandelier. So once again, very nice build. Just absolutely gorgeous. I like all the nature. Uh, it fits in nicely with the themes that we've seen so far. So, uh, well done. Weird Fish 90.
as we see another person is enjoying the scenery. So, if you'd like to have me review more builds like this, please leave some suggestions and rate, comment, favorite, subscribe, the whole deal, uh, because that uh, lets me know what you guys want to see. So anyway, it's been Voltmark, and I will see you guys next time.